What is up guys, in this video I'm going to go through my favorite assignment which is web application development. Now, you see in the past videos, I've been showing my gum and today, I bite my tongue. It's very pain. Okay, so let's just go with it. So, we will build a web app application with server side and client side. Okay, so I'm very creative, innovative, energetic. Okay, we will make user stories. You will make wireframe prototypes. So right. Oh yeah, we actually created a Canva wireframe. Okay guys, so this is how it looks like. Honestly, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Some might even say it looks better than my actual website. But it's okay. So yeah, this is my my friends. But right. Yeah. She actually wow. She she actually did a lot in this project even though she's not very strong in python that's what she said ah uh. uh, this is my part the products it's my yeah it's actually her idea to do like a high fidelity wireframe because and then i add to it i say that if we do it then like our design part is basically done ah. and uh, design's pretty good <coughs> yeah and then i did a erd you know for us get more points you know so that we understand Good stuff, good stuff. And this is my friend Ethan. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Actually, I, I told him to develop a chatbot. So this will be good. And now... Okay, so chat. I use... I use GitHub code spaces to do it. And now apparently I have an error. So let me just try to run this thing. I can't. Okay. I'll just use my other thing. I think because I never use my my code space in so long, they just like forget about it. But yeah, I'm gonna run. <coughs> Hopefully it works, you know. Okay, so awesome, it works. So as you can see, it looks exactly like the healthy living website. But right? Oh yeah. Um, yeah, but like, you know, it has the products, the sustainable products. You can see this is actually the Healthy Living website. The chatbot was actually different. It's less well designed, I would say. Right, Ethan? Okay, so I'm just going to present my part, okay? So, add to cut. You know, you can do all the things. Uh, actually, like, because we actually had a hackathon, right? Someone messed up my reviews i don't know what the hell did they do but you can submit reviews some someone made it into a button kind of ridiculous yeah someone messed up my review this is quite unfortunate so anyways we got the stocks i've been using this item a lot and i run down the stocks to just 11 should be way more than 98 but yeah you get to wish list if you log in but i didn't so yeah and then my biggest selling point which is Add to cart and check out with using stripe stripe it honestly impresses more people than my actual website so i spent like hours to do you know i use stenography sometimes to key in my details my lecturer said that it's very good um i'm gonna turn the settings on yeah you see like i can just like press a few keystrokes and, and i will enter all my details like super fast and the most important part is that it's valid. It actually makes sense. Some people will be like, bro, like, like I don't know, blah, blah, at lol.com, right? But no, you should put in a real one. And using stenography, or should I say plover, can actually make valid stuff, you know? And um, in my, oh yeah, the website I called, is called uh, Eco Fashion. In eco fashion, right? <coughs> actually, uh, the chatbot doesn't pop up. This is my uh, implementation, so you can just ignore it, right? You go the cancel refund, which I guess it works. Definitely works. You know why? Cause if I sign in, right? You look at the dashboard, right? It actually sends a refund. Yeah, you see, refunded. Ain't that crazy? Ain't that crazy? Right? Yeah. That's just my part. Um, oh yeah, my admin. So let me just log in. So I made it so that right, 
I don't know if I can find it here. I made it so that whenever we have an empty admin dictionary, so the dictionary or the shelf that contains all our admin accounts, we will create an account that is, um, you know, eh, actually, first name, admin, last name, admin, you know, all the stuff. Username is admin, password is admin, email is my email, right? So what I must do is go here, <coughs> my email. Yeah, I, j I just did the backs, uh, the remove spacing retrospectively. Yeah, it's quite cool. I know. Password is admin. I log in. Go oh, admin page. This one fake, but it's quite cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I integrated and made the admin side work. You know, kind of like update stuff. You can make new products over here. You know, that's pretty crazy. You know what? Let's just make one right now. Sunset AI is my product. Blue. No, not blue. Turquoise. That's the color. I don't know how to spell turquoise. Orange. Yellow. Yeah. Small. Medium. Large. Right. Cost price. 99. This price. 200. Very good margins. One stock. One stock. Um. AI. Very good. And for image, I will take a picture of sunset. So my image implementation is you have to take a link. So it has to be hosted somewhere. Oops, copy link. You can see here. Uh, this one, right? You should have a JPEG. Okay, uh, I'm convinced I have to go inside the website. Okay, so I got the JPEG. I can go back here, put in the URL, type in the category. Um, I'll just put home gym. Home gym, yeah. Let me have my product. So why is it loading so long? It's actually cost. You know all the sizes and stuff, right? Where is it? Ah, right here. All the turquoise, orange, yellow is being converted to a list, actually. I can make a list. You know, I just put turquoise, comma, orange, comma, yellow, right? I extract the list. I put it so that they say orange and yellow. In that something. And this time, I actually have a product page already. In that something. As I was mentioning, uh, unfortunately for Stripe, you have to create what I can show you is every single color variant and size variant. You have to create an individual product, right? <coughs> so that's very unfortunate, and that takes a lot of effort. Which usually, when you develop something that doesn't involve color and sizes, will be super easy. But because I got this um, stuff, the camera, um, okay, no up, right? Go products, concept AI. Filter, fitness apparel, only fitness apparel. I'm, I'm scrolling down, can't, can't do anything. Uh, let's just reset back to all. Home gym, yeah, okay, can. Ratings works. No, we only got these two products because none of the other products got rated. But yeah, as you can see, I choose a rating lower and this uh, rating come out. Yeah, actually, pretty cool. Quite cool, right? Yeah, thank you for watching um, this website. Honestly, it was a joy to make. It's damn fun. But then again, yeah, chat. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, you also created an e-commerce website. Maybe you can share it. I don't know. Make a YouTube video and join me. So that I'm not. So that I'm not alone. Yeah. Thanks for watching.